Hello and welcome Leo to your weekly general zodiac tarot reading for the week of July 18th through July 24th of 2021. This is Moon Kitty Tarot and I'm Moon Kitty. You can also call me Kitty in the comments if you like. Hello, I hope you're having a good week. Um, a few things to get noted before we get started. All of my social media links and the link to my website to set up a personal reading will be in the description box below this video and every single video. In addition, the only social media links I have and use are the ones listed. If someone contacts you for uh, privately to set up a, a reading or if they ask you for money, it is not me. I will not reach out to you personally. So please make sure that you're not falling for the scammers, spammers, and trolls that are out there in force lately. Again, I will not reach out to you to set up a personal reading or to ask you for money. So those links and how to set up a personal reading with me are listed below the video. The deck I'm using this week for tarot readings for the zodiac signs is the Ciro Marchetti Gateway to the Divine Tarot or Legends of the Divine Tarot. It kind of has two different names. Um, I think the book is generally called Gateway. I also have these two decks right here. These are miniature decks that offer specific messages. I'll be pulling one for each sign at the end of these readings so that um, we get an overall message for the week. Also, <clears throat> to note, I do have my Miniature Gilded Tarot Royale deck by Cyril Marchetti as well. If I feel that any card or cards need any clarification this week, Leo, I will pull from the miniature deck to clarify the card. I've already shuffled and pulled 10 cards for you, Leo. So let's get started and see what messages we have for you this week, Leo. The general energy surrounding you this week, Leo, is the three of wands in reverse. And um, it's really interesting that after last week, which was, um, I said would be a bit chaotic for Leo, um, that we would pull the three of wands in reverse. You might still be going through the same of the motion, same of the, same, some of the same <laughs> energies as the week of July 11th. Um, they might be carrying over for you, Leo, into the week of July 18th. Um, the reason I say that is because with this card, you can see that there are three um, wands that are coming out of a dark and stormy sky, if this was upright, um, into the light. And unfortunately, it looks like um, you're not escaping those energies quite yet. see if adjusting my light, my ring light will allow us to see the card better. So, um, I feel like you might be fighting those energies maybe at the beginning of the week. Let's see what crosses you this week, Leo. We have the King of Cups. Yep. Emotions might still be running a little bit rampant. Um, and out of sorts this week. So be aware of that. And again, the same as last week, spend a little bit of time in nature, earthing and grounding. So what is below you this week is the high priestess. So listening to your intuition, listening to any divine messages that you get this week is going to be a good idea. Come on, cards, behave. Thank you. It might be a good idea to... Um, Listen, meditate, spend some time with your um, higher power, God, source, creative energy, creator, divinity, deity, whatever you want to call it, and your spirit guides and angels or whatever you choose to work with in your path in this life. 
Um, but definitely listening to your own intuition is paramount this week as the high priestess shows. Maybe spending some time in your own spiritual practice is a good idea this week as well. What crowns you this week is a great card. It is the four of wands in the upright position. And it's interesting um, that we go from the three of wands in reverse, which was the first card, to the four of wands <clears throat> excuse me, in the upright position. I think this is kind of what you're hoping for for the week, especially after the week of July 11th, if you had a difficult week. Um, and I, the part of the reason that I love the four of wands is if you look at it, if you look at this card, um, it is like a portal. If I could get the camera and the light to behave, it is like a portal in a doorway there we go that's better it is like a portal and a doorway in from a very dark volcanic area into some lush green um, this could also be a card of love, a card of family, um, and a card of celebration. Um, also, I would say that maybe putting up some protections would be a good idea for you this week, Leo. Um, because it looks like the area that the Four of Wands is around is protected from the volcano. So what is in the recent past for you recent past is about six months is the page of pentacles or page of coins and um leo i think this is just saying that maybe with the pandemic you've been a little spend happy maybe a little um naive about how you've been spending your money and now it's time to get back on track with that leo be careful of how you are spending your money the next card in the Celtic cross is the king of swords in reverse and swords represent the air element. Um, I think that Leo, you do see yourself as a knight in shining armor to a degree. Um, you are a very strong and strong willed sign. And I think that um, keeping yourself grounded this week is a good idea. Um, again, with the king of pentacles in reverse, um, or excuse me, king of swords in reverse, um, keeping your head out of the clouds might be a good idea for the week of the 18th. So the next card is um, the overall energy for the next six to 12 months, potentially. Um, I will always say I am not a psychic and I don't pretend to be a psychic. I don't say I'm a psychic and tarot cards are just a way to get a general feeling um, for a question, for the energy surrounding a situation or the person being read for, or um, in this case, the zodiac sign of Leo. So you might be dealing with a little bit of heartbreak this next six months, Leo, um, and it doesn't necessarily have to do with love. It could be another situation that um, you weren't expecting that kind of takes you back, a back a little bit. Um, the next card, which deals with your home. And again, like I said, on the week of July 11th, home, family, and friends. Family does not have to mean your only your blood related family members. It could be your cha chosen family. And um, so it's actually a really good card. It is the Hanged Man in Upright. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus. Now, the Hanged Man in the upright position just means you need to look at things from all perspectives or a new perspective. Um, 
don't solely focus on how things have been. Maybe there's going to be some shifts that are happening um, that you that again might break your heart in the now, but in the future it is a good change. So just be aware of that, Leo. The next card, um, which is your hopes and your fears card, is the magician in reverse. Um, I think that maybe with the three of swords you're feeling like um you've lost a little bit of the power that you had and that um you're feeling a little low maybe that's also why the swords uh king of sword in reverse is on the uh the so again leo um the magician and the um, reverse position I think maybe you're feeling like um, you're or you're afraid that you're going to lose a little bit of power or stability um, with that three of swords energy um, and the outcome for you this week is the hermit in reverse and I think that your light might be dim just a little bit with all the chaotic energy that you've been dealing with or chaotic situations that you've been dealing with lately leo um your light has dimmed just a little bit um if the hermit were upright his lantern or his wand or staff would have the brightness of the star card and i feel like you might potentially um have some weakness or or like i said a loss of power loss of light within you for the week of july 18th um i do feel some clarification is needed i want to clarify that three of swords what clarification message can you give for the three of swords for leo for the week of july 18th Leo, let's see. We have the Four of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. So, um, I think there might be a situation that does affect your finances with that Eight of Pentacles card. Um, and it's interesting that the other two cards are Swords cards. Um, and i feel like um that that might be affecting again um it might be affecting how you have your head in the clouds and what is going on in your life um, I feel like with the three, the four, the three of swords going to the four of swords that you are going to need to rest again with that hanging man card on top of the three of swords to, um, rest and look at things from a different perspective. Um, the eight of swords, if you look at it she is um the figure in the card is blindfolded her hands are chained but um between these two swords it looks like she could get away if she could see um so there might be something to that leo also um what clarification can be given for the magician in reverse Um, with that, the intuitive message that just came into my head, um, we have the high priestess 
and the magician on the board, but the, with the high priestess um, and upright and magician in um, reverse, this might be somebody going through a split up, a heartbreak. Um, maybe you thought you had found the one and their true colors decided to finally come out. And that could potentially be what that three of swords is talking about. I don't generally focus on love messages, but if they do come, I will share them. Um, so what information can we get for Leo for the week of July 18th for the magician in reverse? Okay. These cards can be very slippery. All right, so we have the Nine of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and the Lovers. Yep. Okay. So it's interesting. I had a feeling that that Lovers was going to pop up um, for the Magician. I do feel like maybe you thought you were going to be celebrating something with the um, Eight of Cups, and you had worked really hard at something, and um, it didn't turn out necessarily the way you thought it would leo um okay um so yeah that <sighs> heartbreaks are never fun so i feel like i'm gonna pull from the whispering woods messenger deck i we will see what message Cleansing the deck first with a few shuffles. Um, this crystal right here that's in the back, the very back top, is a huge slab of selenite which cleanses things. Um, and I usually lay my cards on there after I do these videos and in between readings to help clear them as well. So, um, what message do you have for Leo for the week of July 18th? And again, Leo, these are just general messages. Let's see. We have origins. Remember your roots. Again, this could be um, A message in regards to love to family to home again reiterating that family does not have to be just blood related um, Leo maybe spending time alone for the week of July 18th might be a good idea for you Leo just to spend some time and reflection all right Leo thank you so much for watching again this has been a general zodiac tarot weekly reading for leo if this does not resonate with you please make sure you check your sun moon and rising signs to um see if there's a message message in there that resonates with you better than this one please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when i upload next also, um, please comment down in this, the comments section whether this resonated with you. Thank you again, Leo. I hope you have a wonderful week and blessed be.